Ntando Mklangu is an athlete to keep an eye on. As a 14-year-old, he won silver in the 200 meters T42 class at the Paralympics in 2016 and is regarded as one of the brightest talents in the Paralympic movement, which is astonishing considering he only received his blades in 2012. Four years on from Rio, the high school senior is more determined than ever to improve on his African record and his silver medal. People always ask me what was the one thing that you would have changed if you had to go back to 2016. Um, it would probably be the mindset, you know, um, focused on a lot of wrong things. You know, you focused on, on the other guy that's going to take the gold medal. You know, um, that was the young me at the age of 14 years old. But now mindset wise, you know, you're thinking about what you do at training, uh, when you're in the race, you know what you have to do right. Born with a condition known as congenital hemimelia, Ntandum Tlangu spent most of his young life in a wheelchair. The year of his 10th birthday, incidentally, also the year of the London Paralympics, things changed and the sprinter never looked back. You know, it's the ability to move. It's, it's the ability to, 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 be, to be able to go from one place to another. You know, in the first 10 years of my life, I wasn't able to move. I wasn't able to go from one place to another. So I think that's why, I, you know, I... I, I, I what love uh, for, for, for athletics is because I was able to get from the start to the finish line. Matlangu took just a week after receiving his prosthetics to learn to run and has been getting faster and faster each year with a new record in the 800 meters. But his focus remains on the 200 meters at the Paralympics next year, where he is very much a gold medal contender. As an athlete, you don't train for the silver medal, you don't train for the bronze. Even if you're the slowest athlete in the world, you, you always go big, you always dream big. Uh, you know, so yes, I, I would love to go for, for, for the gold medal. But if that's my approach, then, you know, I'm just going for the gold medal. And I want to go bigger than that, you know, I want to go for faster times, you know, I, I want to, you know, I want to change the world. I want to do a lot of things. The remarkable thing about the African record holder is that over 95% of all people with above-the-knee amputations never manage to walk and are confined to wheelchairs. Ntando has certainly defied the odds and is able not only to walk, but to sprint. He is an inspiration and a global Paralympic superstar in the making. CS Duplessis, CGTN, Pretoria, South Africa.